Hey everyone, welcome to Slep Talk. Today's Slep Talk is the first Slep Talk <clears throat> where Wrestle Talk has combined with Slep Talk, and we're going to start it out with WWE singers. So these are not all the singers that WWE has ever had. These are just a couple that I have will be talking about. And so we have four of them today. The first one is Honky Tonk Man, more common known as Roy Wayne Ferris, born on January. 25th, 1953, better known as the Honky Tonk Man. His ring names are Danny Condry, Honky Tonk Man, Honky Tonk Wayne, and Wayne Ferris. He's 6 foot 1, 247 pounds, born on January 25th, 1953, in Memphis, Tennessee. And he was trained by Bill Dundee, Dory Funk Jr., and Lou Thez, and he debuted in 1977. As for his finishers, he is known for his finishers Shake, Rattle, and Roll, which is a swinging neckbreaker with the Nifix, and the e Bong, which is a guitar shot. Signature moves include the Diving Fist Drop and the Scoop Slam, and he has had a few managers throughout his day, such as Peggy Sue, Judge Lawless, and Sergeant Danny Davis, among others. His personal life, he is the first cousin of professional wrestler Jerry the King Lawler, and he is an avid golfer, and he has a son named Roy. He is real life feuds with a few wrestlers such as Hulk Hogan, Dynamite Kid, Roddy Piper, Bret Hart, Ric Flair, Ted, Na uh, Ted DiBiase, Kevin Nash, Eric Bischoff, and others. He appeared in an episode of Court Base Show Judge Jeline Perry. And he appears in the WWE All Stars video game as a free downloadable character. And his championship wise, he is a former WWF Intercontinental Champion one time, the longest reign, WWC Caribbean Heavyweight Champion once, and UWA Heavyweight Champion once among other accomplishments as well and that is about it for him we're going to go ahead and move on to Elias so Elias Samson more common known as Jeffrey Logan Leo. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong but he was born on November 22nd 1987 his ring names are Elias Elias Samson Elias Samson El Vagabundo and Logan Shulo He's six foot one, two hundred and twenty two pounds, born on November twenty second of nineteen eighty seven. He was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and currently resides in Orlando, Florida. He was trained by Super Hen Ty and Shirley Doe, and he debuted on January seventh of two thousand and eight. His finishing moves as Elias Sampson are the Drift Away, which is a snap swinging neck breaker, and the Encore, which is a rolling cutter, and the diving elbow drop. As Logan Shule, it is the Howl, the Halo Bomb, which is a electric chair dropped into a sit out power bomb. His signature moves include the running DDT, the Lariat, the drop kick, the Boston Crab, and the corner mule kick, among others. He is a former IWC Indy. Or IWC World Heavyweight Champion once and IWC Super Indie Championship once. But his career is quite young, so we don't know what else could happen. And that is about it for him. So we're going to go ahead and move on to Jeff Jarrett. So Jeff Jarrett, more common known as Jeffrey Leonardo. Or, uh, yeah, Leonard. Jared, born on April 14, 1967. He is a WWE Hall of Famer in the class of 2018 and a CNA Hall of Famer in the class of 2015. His ring names are Double J and Jeff Jared. He is 6'1", 232 pounds, born on April 14, 1967 in Nashville, Tennessee, and currently resides in Hendersonville, Tennessee. His trainers are Jerry Jarrett and Tojo Yamamoto, and he debuted on April of 1986. 
In his personal life, he was married to his high school sweetheart, Jill, on November 14th in 1992, whom he had three daughters with. Um, he has two brothers, and it was reported that he was romantically linked to Karen Angle, now known as Karen Jarrett, um, and they are now together and married. So, yeah. And his wrestling, though, his finishing moves are the acoustic equalizer or the El Cabon, which is a guitar shot, the figure four leg like, lock, the stroke, sometimes from the second rope, and the running DDT. And his signature moves include the leapfrog body gu guillotine to the opponent draped over the second rope, the summer sl or the power slam, the snap suplex, and the swinging neckbreaker, among others. Championship wise, he is a former TNA King of the Mountain champion once, NWA World Heavyweight champion six times. In the WWE, however, he is a former WWF European champion once, WWE, or WWF tag team champion once with Owen Hart, and WWF Intercontinental champion six times, among other accomplishments as well. And that is about it for him. We're going to go ahead and move on to our final person for this video, which is Jillian Hall. So Jillian Hall, she, more commonly known as Jillian Faye Fletcher, born on September 6, 1980. She is known by her ring names, which is Bombshell, Jillian Hall, Jillian Hall, Jillian, Mascalita Mercedes, and Mysteria. She's 5'6", 130 pounds. Born on September 6, 1980, in Ashland, Kentucky, and currently resides in Louisville, Kentucky. Her trainers were Roger Ruffian and Finley, and she debuted in 1998 and retired on January 21st of 2014. And her finishing moves are the high note, which is the 450 splash, the solo, which is a sit out. Face Buster, the Fender Bender, which is a handstand leg drop, the Full Nelson Bulldog, and the Howl Drop, which is a Samoan drop. And championship wise, she is a former WWE Divas Champion once, and as well as an SSW Women's Champion once, SWF Tag Team Champion twice with Randy the King Alien once, and Pyro once among other accomplishments as well. In her personal life, as a teenager, she was a cheerleader and also took gymnastics classes. After graduating from high school, she attended college, where she dropped out in order to train to be a professional wrestler. She is a fan of Rick the Model Martel, and she is engaged. She was engaged to wrestler John Toland, whom she met when she was both training in Ohio Valley Wrestling. On September 10th of 2010, she married her boyfriend, Mike Farrell, in Las Vegas. So, that is about it for her. So, we're going to go ahead and end this one out. But I do want to point something out, guys. Not all Slep Talks now will be about wrestling. It will be about both celebrities and wrestling. It'll go back and forth whenever. But, next week's Slep Talk will be on WWE's Love Machine viscera so it'll be a viscera takeover since it will be valentine's day so it is the honor of valentine's day i thought i would do that so thank you guys for watching have a great day bye